well it's time to start doing some cleaning went and bought me a vacuum got some paper towels i already got cleaners and stuff this floor is disgusting so much salt I finally took my uh i had the um the felt padding over there I had three rolls of it. I stuffed it into the headache rack, made sure it was propped up because for like, some reason I get some water in there. The salt makes it all the way back. I have my shoes on right now, but makes it all the way in the back. So I pretty much slip my socks off, drop them on the floor in my dirty clothes, and um, just kick my feet up onto the bed so I don't get crap all over my feet. I grab my blow hose and uh blow all the dirt up front and whatnot that's all i could really do right now but i'm gonna get this thing all vacuumed out nice and clean and uh i got a towel that i'm gonna throw in the wash and i'm gonna place down there underneath my feet to uh prevent this salt rolling back here so anytime my feet are wet or anything like that it'll all stay right there on the towel so that's my day today uh, getting the truck all cleaned up getting everything wiped down uh, after I'm done doing that I'm going to pull apart this uh, sunglass section here I'll pull apart it here uh, take that out my knife I gotta get back in here. I took that bracket off a little while, uh, about a couple weeks ago. Uh, the paper's in there. I was stopping it from vibrating, helping it stop. But I gotta get in there and try to see if I can find wires. See if I can find the wires for the CB. I don't. I don't know if they moved them they routed them out of there or didn't put them up there or I don't know maybe uh, Schneider when they received the truck they put the wires in the pulled the wires back down put them in the dash not really sure what they did so I'm gonna try to investigate my way through there and see if I can find the wires if not I'll have to uh, start ripping the dash apart and see if I can get wires routed up there which won't happen today so Time to get this thing cleaned. So this is the new vacuum. This was on top when I first opened the box. A couple of little attachments and stuff. Looks like they got a little belt right there. I don't know what the heck that would be for. And this is the vacuum itself. I just pulled it out of the box just like this. It's a, I'm guessing I gotta open it to Yep, there's the hose. There's the inside of the vacuum. It said you can use it to blow up. It says you can use it to blow up too. So I just stuck the uh, the end with the longer flat. If you look at the end of the hose there, it's got a flat piece. I just took the one that has the longer flat piece and stuck it in there. Power cords in the back, huge, huge power cord. So I guess we just hook it back on here. And fire it up. Oh. Got two different power settings. Not very strong. Oh, okay, this side right here, this is blowing. So I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing I could pull that out and put it in there and use that to blow up like an air mattress or something. So I'm sitting here cleaning the truck and I, uh, I just figured this out. I never looked it up, never cared to know. Um, but I just figured out how to remove the gauges. So in case nobody knows, you basically pull on the sides here. got this side done. They seem to have to come out a little more even. Alright, it got a little jammed up there on me. So, Make sure you guys can see this good. It's all nasty and cruddy. That's why I'm pulling them out. Uh, that piece right there pulls out. And what it does is if you look at the side there, I push it back in. This piece right here, it pulls that piece down. Get the other side out where I was having a problem. I pulled up, uh, I pulled them apart so you can see where it pushes it down a little bit more. Uh, it's pretty sticky because it's right next to the cup holder where I got my coffee. It's always vibrating up there. I just pulled this one out and I got to do this one next. But I just want to show you guys that. That's that's how you do that. You pull them little tabs out, spread them apart, gives it a little bit more, and they they come right. Out. It comes right out the whole block. All right, she's uh, looking a lot better now. Uh, in order to take these buttons off, so you can get down in the cracks and get in between, um, there's a, a little spot right here, a little pressure tab there and one on the bottom. Just squeeze down on them both and you can pretty much pop it right out. Not very easily done with one hand. You can hear it clicking back in but um, it's easier with two hands so you can hold the base and push down and pull apart at the same time. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Alright, so that floor is definitely not as good as I want it to be. But, uh, uh, there's still some those are wet spots from me just shooting stuff. And, uh, still some salt spots. It's really not that great. Um, it's not all that great, but <laughs> it's a lot better than it was. And honestly, I was just trying to make it look better, feel cleaner. But it's uh, it's getting pretty late. I already spent quite a bit of time, quite a bit of time uh, with with wiping this stuff down and pulling stuff apart. And, uh, as far as those switch blocks, I just pushed those side things back in. And I just popped the whole thing right back in in one shot, uh, real nice and easy. But when I get, well, as soon as winter is completely over, all the salt and everything is gone, uh, I figure around May or so, I'll be uh, be really cleaning this truck. 
Um, taking it home and pulling the seats out and uh, bringing in a bucket of water and soap and water and uh, really scrubbing everything down and getting this truck really nice and clean because it's the only thing I hate about winter. It's the only thing I hate about... Uh, <laughs> it's the second thing I hate about flatbed. Um, because we're always dealing with muddy lots and stuff like that and you know we're constantly you know uh, in those muddy lots walking around the trailer a thousand times you know securing stuff and you know we're tracking that mud in with us and then uh, of course you know winter time you got all the salt and the sand and the uh, snow and everything that you're tracking in getting that crap running all over the truck like I said, I'm gonna throw a towel down here, prevent most of that. I'm gonna try hitting this up again. Um, probably later on this week. But right now I'm gonna go do some laundry and take a shower and go to bed. So I know this is short. Again, just putting another, you know, something together for tomorrow. As far as the antenna or the, uh, the CB cubby, um, I'm not going to bother dealing with that today. So hopefully I can get to that again later this week. Um, I'm really not in a rush. It's mounted on the dash. It's been there for over a year. Uh, I have wanted to move it. I just haven't gotten around to it. My, the main reason I want to move it is, um, I want to put the CB up there and then the uh, the base that the CB is sitting on on the dash I want to mount my uh, my GPS right there instead of having it up on the windshield I think it's going to be a lot better there where I can comfortably reach reach it and it'll be uh, in a good point of view where I can see it so Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos and stay safe.